Hello lovelies, welcome to Night Free Formula. Um, my name is Freedom, thank you for joining me. In today's episode I want to talk about the top four reasons why um, the narcissist downgrades. But before I start, can I remind you please, if you like my videos, to like them. Um, if you have something to say, leave it in the comments. And remember to hit the bell notification also. Um, subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my future episodes. All right, so let's get down to this. First of all, what I mean by downgrade. So, um, how do I put this? I'm not going to say that there are, you know, some people that are better than others or anything like that. What I am going to say, though, is this. For some people, when they look at who the narcissist is now with, they think, what the hell is going on now? Like, what is this? Like, um, some people even kind of have moments of, oh, my God. Like, is he serious? Like, is he serious? So, that is what I mean about a downgrade. Someone that makes you go, what the fuck, right? Now, there are reasons why this has happened, if this has happened to you. There are specific reasons why. Um, the top four reasons. So, number one. So, first thing is this. You've got to understand that narcissists do not see themselves the way we see them. So when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, you have put them up on a pedestal yourself. You have made them larger than life. You have bought into the mythology that they have used to surround themselves. You know, you have made them um, a god amongst men, but they know that they are not that, right? So when they are out there sourcing um, your replacement, they're not thinking they're a god amongst men. You know, they are... Um, going where they feel they're not going to be rejected. It's, you know, for a narcissist who has been um, escaped um, and who's looking for new supply, the last thing their um, fragile ego, ego can handle is another hit. So they just can't take the risk. So they're not going to go and try and, you know, chat up some woman that, you know, is your equal or above you, there is just no way they would take that risk. So what they do is they go where they're comfortable, where they know that they're going to be accepted with open arms. So this is why they downgrade, which is why they choose people that are either not as smart as them, um, you know, not as wealthy not as knowledgeable not as traveled not as you know resourceful not on level with them they basically have chosen you know someone who's kind of way below them so that there was no risk of them being um, knocked back that's number one so number two you also have to remember that if um, you escape them. This is a desperation pick. They didn't have a whole lot of, you know, supermodels going, oh, pick me, pick me, you know, or women, you know, coming straight out of the university going, pick me, pick me. You know, he got dumped. It's narcissists need fuel to survive. He had to take anything he could get. He took the first thing he could get. So when you see that, Remember, this is not, you know, this is not who, this is not his ideal woman. Um, this is not a reflection of him at all. I mean, n none of his partners are ever reflections of him at all. You know, they are just people who give him fuel. It's what they're there for. So in his desperation, he would have had to um, reach out to some of the secondary supply that he would have had lying around or his narc harem that he would have had lying around. He would have had to upgrade one of them to primary supply um, pronto. And that's why when you're looking at her, you're thinking, what the fuck? Is because, you know, they're not equals. Um, she's a desperation pick. So number three, um, this is another thing that narcissists are known for for doing so just for example if you're someone who um, is a supermodel for example and then your your narcissist goes and picks a woman who is 20 kilos heavier than you that's going to really do your head in which is part of the reason why they do it 
they actually love that kind of thing. They love the confusion that it causes because that gives them fuel. You worrying about it, you thinking about it, you obsessing about it, you asking them, ringing them up, going, what does she have that I didn't? Blah, blah, blah. That is all just fuel for the narcissist. So that in, in part is one of the reasons why they do downgrade because they know that it's going to confuse you. They know that it's going to bug you. Um, you know, because most people have an issue with being replaced by someone who is seemingly so much lesser than them. Um, all right, and the final point is that um, you have to remember it's not about looks. With a narcissist, none of it's about looks, it's not about money, it's not about weight, it's not about age, it's not about accomplishment. You know, it's not about anything but fuel. Right, so you left him, you escaped him, he needed fuel, he needed it fast. He, cut, he couldn't sustain too many more hits to his ego. So he went to the first person that he thought was going to be um, the easiest fuel supplier and the one that he would be able to pump for the most fuel possible. And that is why he is with his downgrade. He may stay with her for years while he sources new A-grade supply because, as we know, A-grade supply is different from primary supply. Primary supply, um, you know, kind of comes and goes, but A-grade supply is kind of, you know, it's like a unicorn. It's not a, it's not a common thing for a narcissist to actually find someone who is A-grade supplied. You know, that doesn't happen often in a lifetime. So, um. So don't, don't even concern yourself with the downgrades or the new supply. Like seriously, who cares? Who cares what they're doing? You know, I saw this gorgeous meme um, just the other day and it was of, you know, the two blokes from Dumb and Dumber and it was, you know, the, the, the line in it was something like, um, this is what the narcissist and the new supply look like when they're posting selfies to fa uh, social media, you know, like Dumb and Dumber. Like, this is the reality. You know, don't worry about what they're doing. Um, you know, he's a loser. She's naive. And she's also his victim. And at some point, she's going to be part of the same groups on Facebook that you are. She's going to be sourcing out the same information and trying to get the same help. Okay? So don't drink the Kool-Aid. Right? He's not the person that you imagined him to be. Okay, that you build him up in your mind to be. That was an illusion that was created to hook you in. Okay, so now you can set yourself free. Just by knowing that it was an illusion, you can now set yourself free. All right, darlings, thank you for watching Night Free Formula, and I will see you not today, I mean, not tomorrow, but the day after. I'll see you then. Bye.